Not far from the College of Engineering, on the campus of San Jose State University, a gathering of some of the world's foremost experts on high-speed rail. I was the head of the Department of Major Project, which means uh, all the high-speed lines in France. I uh, developed more or less six high-speed lines in different positions in, the, in, the, in Spain. We brought uh, high-speed rail technology experts from all over the world. The best in the world have come here to teach the next generation of high-speed rail technology and operations leaders how to do it the best way. The International Seminar on High-Speed Technologies provided an opportunity for engineering students to learn about the latest technologies and connect with current industry leaders. We are here because we want to uh, check new ideas for the high, high road transportation. I mean, the world is doing it and we have to do it. I mean, it's just more sustainable, more economical, and it's just, it's just engineering-wise, it makes sense. Because the company like Siemens or like Thales or my company, my consulting company, it's, very, it's wonderful to, 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 to find these people here close because uh, we can give opportunity for these people and these, these people is in 10 years the leader of the, the technology in another place of the world. The seminar also allowed the California High Speed Rail Authority to share its plan to make California the first state in the nation to feature high speed technology. As one of the advantages of being the first, uh, we'd like to make sure that we are the, the epicenter of this emerging industry as it continues to grow in the U.S. And so uh, we will see a facility here in the U.S. And again, we're going to do everything we can to try to attract that here in California. It is technology that the experts here agree will benefit California on a local and statewide level. It's a game-changing opportunity for how we think about uh, mobility in the state for the country. That is good for all. It's good for the country, for the connecting the city, and it's good for uh, increase this uh, on uh, a pair new ideas and technology. You're going to see uh, an increase in uh, in. Uh, commerce as you have people uh, able to move together back and forth more effectively. Benefits other countries have already seen, including Spain, where the first high-speed line stretched from Madrid to Cordoba. It was a big opposition uh, in, the, in the newspaper in all. But you ask today in Cordoba, the people of the Cordoba say the high-speed train is the 50% of responsible of our economy, 50%. And in France, where the country is connected like never before. Be before high-speed rail, it was difficult to join the totality of France in less than seven or eight hours by train. And now from Paris, you can reach most part of France in less than five hours. International testimonials echoing the sentiments of California's high-speed rail supporters. Let's join the other uh, industrialized countries, emerging countries, and have high-speed rail as a way of promoting commerce, jobs, and in fighting global warming. Connect with the California High-Speed Rail Authority on our homepage, hsr.ca.gov. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to click the YouTube link to subscribe to our YouTube channel.